Good morning, students. Welcome to my class again. I think learning is fun to me. Learning is fun. So, welcome to my class and you may start thinking now. In my class, you are free to think and say anything. I'm Rehana Firdos from Shahid Biruttam Left Hand Honor Girls College, Dhaka. And I'm here today for class 9 and 10 with English First Paper, Unit 3, Lesson 5. Okay, what will we learn today? What can you see here? Yes, this is the flag of Bangladesh. I think you all know this. Yes, this is the, our national flag and actually this map was in our national flag during our liberation war. When did we achieve it? This national flag, when it became ours? When it became ours? I think you all know. Yes, 26th March 1971. And that is the Independence Day of our country. We all know 26 March is our Independence Day and we remember all our freedom fighters and our martyrs on that day who remains all over the year in our mind. For them we find our independent country. So Today, our lesson is Independence Day, Unit 3, Lesson 5. Come to the first point. Why should we learn this lesson? Why this lesson is so important for us? Because we can prepare for some question answers of the exams for this uh, upcoming exam. And the idea is also for important for us, for all of our Bangladeshi people. Okay, this passage is very important for us as seen passage, which we find question number one, two, and three. Then it also comes in matching, which is in question number nine. We also have to write a paragraph on Independence Day and it comes in the question number eight. And sometimes we need to write a letter describing how we have celebrated our Independence Day or how generally our country celebrate the day. So for writing a letter in question number 11, this lesson is important too. That means we can see this lesson is very important for us. And if we see to the previous questions, we'll find that uh, in Joshua Board 2019 and Silek Board 2019, this question has come. That means it's very important. And earlier also, this question has come in many schools and uh, many boards. Okay, so let's come to our lesson today. What will we learn after this lesson? Of course, as I say always, we will be skilled with the four skills, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. As you will listen, your, your listening skill will be enhanced. You will read the passage, so reading will be enhanced. You will speak to your teachers and your fellow students or your family members on this topic, and you can enrich your speaking and to by writing paragraph or letter, you can enhance your writing skill also by learning this lesson. Here we will find why this day is important to us. And we will see how do we celebrate the day in our country. And we will see the special activities in this day. And most of all, we will find why the day is celebrated nationally. Okay, look at this picture. Can you mark what is it? Yes, this is the national 
memorial and this is a rare picture of it commonly you see the front view and here i am with a rear view of this here you have the seven towers one two three four five six and seven i'll come later with the description and here you can see the whole area we have a lake here a beautiful area and there are many more other things here and i'll describe it in my lesson today okay let's see what we have in the text okay in the text you have the front view of the national memorial let's see what they say in our text 26th march our independence day is the biggest state face festival the day is celebrated every year in the country with great enthusiasm and fervor it is a national holiday all offices educational institutions shops and factories remain closed on this day the day begins with a 31 gun salute this is special information it begins with a 31 gun salute and it begins in the very early morning just after sunrise early in the morning the president and the prime minister on behalf of the nation place floral wreaths i told you in my last class what are wreaths they place floral wreaths at the national museum at savar then other leader leaders political parties diplomats social and cultural organizations educational institutions and freedom fighters pay homage to the martyrs homage means due respect deep respect people from all walks of life also go there in rallies and processions there are many cultural programs throughout the day highlighting the heroic struggle and sacrifice in 1971 we remember the freedom fight and the period of the, those nine months in this time. In Bangabundu National Stadium, school children, scouts and girl guides take part in various displays to entertain thousands of spectators. Educational institutions also organize their individual programs, sports, meets and Tournaments are also organized on the day, including the exciting boat race in the river Buriganga. This is a special event on this day, the boat race. Okay, now let's go to the next. In the evening, all major public buildings are illuminated with colorful lights. Bangla Academy, Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy, and other socio-cultural organizations Hold cultural functions. Similar functions are also arranged in other places in the country. So this is the gist that we have in our text. And we have some words here. We will match the words with their meaning and we will choose the best answer for it. And we will come next in our page with the answers. Okay, let's see what are the new words. The words are forever, alike, spectator, displays, and illuminate. I'll give you the answer later. You just think uh, for a while. And let's choose the best answer. Our biggest stage festival is, see, here we have Victory Day, Shohi Dibash, Pohila Boishak, Independence Day. Yes, I know, you all know the answer. The second one asks us, about the question the celebration of independence day begins with as we say that it begins with 31 gun salute and in three the national museum is where at Savar. okay let's see what we have in the answer script here activity c uh, you can uh, do it in pair by matching the column and the answer comes like this Yes, this will enhance your vocabulary. Fervor. Fervor means a strong feeling of excitement. Alike. 
alike means in a similar way, in the same way. Spectator, a person who is watching an event. That means the audience. Displays, displays means acts of performing skill. We commonly see in our sports day some displays. Yes, those are the acts of perform performing skill. And illuminate, illuminate means to light up. We, we see the illumination of different spatial buildings on 26th March and 16th December in our country. Okay, I'll show you the examples. Now, uh, let's do individual work with the MCQs. Uh, here, the answers are for you. The answer for one is D, Independence Day, two, B, gun salute, and three, C, at the cover. You have to write your answer on your answer script like this, giving the number and then A, B, C, and the option, okay? Okay, now, some special information on the Independence Day. Let's see what information I have for you. The Independence Day of Bangladesh, that is Shadhinata Dibos, taking place on 20 March. It is a national holiday as we see in our text. It commemorates the country's declaration of independence from Pakistan in the late hours of 26 March 1971 by the leader of the nation, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. What was the background? Let's see. In 1970, Pakistani general election under the military government of President Yahya Khan, the largest political party, Awami League, led by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, won a clear majority. Julfikar Ali Bhutto conspired with Yahya Khan and changed their position, refusing to hand over power to Sheikh Mujib. Negotiations began, but Sheikh Mujib was not trusted by the ruling Punjabi leadership let alone the Pakistan establishment in spite of Mujib's force. When it became clear that promises given earlier were not going to be followed through, the whole nation of Bangla speaking Muslims and Hindus of East Pakistan began a spirited struggle for independence. On 7 March 1971, Sheikh Mujib gave his famous speech at the Ramna race course where he called for a non-cooperation movement. You all know about the speech of 7th March, which is now declared by the, that it is uh, the um, uh, best um, speech of the year, of the uh, era, yes. Now, yes, he is our father of nation, Sheikh Mujib. Do you know this face? You all, this is a, a picture of his young age. Now, what happened behind the scene? The independence of Bangladesh was declared on 26 March 1971 by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Another declaration was read out on 27 March 1971 by Major Jia Rahman on behalf of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Major Jia, who was also a BDF sector commander of Sector 1 and later of Sector 2, raised an independent J Force Brigade. Chittagong and the guerrilla struggle officially began. The people of Bangladesh then took part in a war to get independence from Pakistan. Independence of Bangladesh was gained through a nine month guerrilla war against the Pakistan army and their collaborators, including paramilitary Rajakas, which resulted in the death of about 3 million people in the, in the then Bangladesh War of Independence and Bangladesh Genocide. The BDF, later with military support from India, defeated the Pakistan army, ending the war on 16 December 1971 after the surrender of Pakistan and from then 16 December is our victory day. 
Now, let's see the celebrations at a glance. What do we do on this day nationally? Independence Day is commonly associated with parades, political speeches, fairs, concerts, illumination of government buildings, spatial broadcasting on medias, and ceremonies to celebrate the history of independence of Bangladesh. Here you can see a picture of parade. Let's see some other pictures. See, here we have our lady army officers and male arm officers. It is in the parade ground. Commonly on 26 March, it happens every year. Here we have another picture of celebration of 26 March where we can see people are at Tower National Memorial to show their deep respect to the, to the freedom fighters and the martyrs. Yes, this is the picture of illumination in national buildings. And you all know this building. This is the Parliament Building of Bangladesh. Here we have a picture of the uh, uh, celebration of in, uh, Independence Day in our school, Shohit Birutam Left and Anwar Girls College. And uh, like this, educational institutions arrange their own special programs. All educational institutions are doing this nowadays. This is the National Memorial from very near view and from the front view. It is the National Monument of Bangladesh set up in the memory of those who died in the Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971, which brought independence and separated Bangladesh from Pakistan. The monument is located in Sabah, about 35 kilometers northwest of the capital, Dhaka. It was designed by Sayyid Mainul Hussain and built by Concord Group. Whenever you go there and visit the area, your mind will feel with so much ease and comfort and peace. This is a very peaceful area, very nice area. And in this area, we have some special things. In the area, there is a mosque, a library, a museum, a lake, and the seven towers monument, and a graveyard of some freedom fighters in the backside of the monument. Now, let's see what does the seven pillars symbolize? The architecture is composed of seven pairs of triangular shaped walls of prisms. The outermost pair being the shortest in high height but widest in span. The inner pairs gradually change the aspect ratio and the innermost pair thus forms the peak point of the architecture. I show you the picture at first. You can go back there after the lesson and see. Each of the seven pairs of walls represents a significant chapter in the history of Bangladesh, namely the language movement in 1952, the election of the United Front in 1954, the constitution movement in 1956, the educational movement in 1962, six point movement in 1966, the mass uprising in 1969, and finally, the climatic event of liberation war in 1971, through which Bangladesh was liberated. So these three, these seven pillars stands for these seven special events. And they also stand for the seven heroic sons of Bangladesh, whom we call the seven Stress show. 
you can see here the seven we stretch to of our country and you all know the names okay now uh, it's your task to discuss in pair you can uh, discuss it at home with your uh, parents or uh, brother sister also and when you are in class you can discuss with your friends on how you have celebrated the 26th march this year okay now come to the point why this day is so important after uh, listening to everything and seeing the visual uh, presentation uh, you can now conclude that why this day is important let's see yes because this day teaches us the importance of independence for a person and a nation it attracts the youngsters to the national cultures and festivities because youngsters get introduced with with all national cultures and festivities on this day and they become very closely bonded with their independent country it inspires people to fight for their freedom and right it uh, teaches us that if we fight for our freedom and right we can easily achieve it uh, though it needs a hard struggle but we can achieve if we fight for our rights it makes the countrymen to show due respect to the freedom fighters and the bond tires so the gist is the celebration of 26 march the independence day marks a day to increase awareness of the whole nation on the value of independence and pay homage to the freedom fighters and martyrs so we can say this is the gist of this lesson now time for your homework write a paragraph within 150 words on the independence day you need to learn this for your exams and also you need to write down a letter to your friend in abroad or maybe in country describing how you have observed the 24 march 26 march in this year now at last i have some suggestions for you nowadays all the educational institutions celebrate 26 march the independence day you can go and enjoy the day with traditional festivities and grandeur in your school and then you can easily learn about the celebration of the day and importance of the day in your life also you can enjoy the national celebrations of the day by watching tv news and also the special broadcastings for the day that will enhance your knowledge about the importance of independence in our life so that's the end of today's lesson thank you stay safe i hope this lesson will help you a lot have a nice week